Hello, welcome to Tarot Thursday. It used to be Tarot Tuesdays, but life sometimes gets in the way and, and we can beat ourselves up for not doing it on a Tuesday because we're running around in the physical and the spiritual realms or we can allow ourselves to be calm and collected and say, that's okay, I'm going to do it on a Thursday because... I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm going to be kind to myself. I'm going to say that you've been a busy boy this week, Joe, and not worry too much about it. I suppose there's lessons in all of that. But today, on Tarot Thursdays, we're going to look at the Two of Wands reversed, and we're going to look at numerology for today's date, which is the 14th of September 2023. I'm going to choose one of my rune cards. My rune cards are Celtic rune cards that I've designed myself. If you'd like to buy one, then you can pop along to the shop or I'll put a link below. You might as well advertise the cards. I have some available. Um, but let's look at the two of ones reversed. In the Rider Waits tarot deck that I use, the two of ones depicts a man holding a globe and standing between two wands. Some people call them sticks, but or, I don't know, branches, or whatever you want to call them, but he's looking out into the horizon. So when the card is upright, it symbolises choices, decision-making, and looking forward to the future with optimism and clarity. In its reverse position, where we are today, suggests a certain level of indecision, a lack of planning, a fear of stepping out into the world. And there might be a reluctance to leave one's comfort zone or to act upon your plans for the future. <coughs> I'm going to sneeze. Um, goes to show I don't edit it. It can also be indication that you've missed opportunities or have some very unfulfilled p potential. When we look at the numerology for the 14th of September, 2023, in numerology, that boils down to three. One plus four plus nine plus two plus zero plus two plus three is 21. We need to boil that down further. Two plus one equals three. In numerology, the number three is associated with the creativity, self-expression and growth. So this number suggesting that despite the hesitancy indicated by the two of ones reversed, there's an underlying energy of creative potential that can be tapped into. The number three invites you to engage in self-reflection, allowing you to discover your unique expression in the world. And my Celtic Oracle rune cards, well... They chose Dagaz today. Dagaz represents dawn, enlightenment, and awakening. So this rune is definitely inviting you to welcome the energy of new beginnings, of transformation, of insights. Dagaz is often seen as a very positive rune. It's offering spiritual direction and a strong sense of hope for the future. So what does this mean for the next seven days, I hear you say? Um... <laughs> Well, it's an inspirational look ahead for the next seven days. This week, we're going to try and combine the energies of these symbols into actionable set steps. So the two of ones reversed is asking you to confront your hesitancies and your fears. What's holding you back? Why are you being held back? Use the creative energy of the number three to brainstorm new approaches of ways to overcome some of these blockages. Maybe you might want to write it down, sketch, dance, whatever it is for your own self-expression. Whatever helps you sort through your feelings and your thoughts, the next seven days is the perfect time to do it. When we interject the presence of Dagaz, I suggest in doing so, you're likely to find a, a very illuminating light, a very illuminating insight of transformation that will significantly shift your perspective from within. Let the energy of Dagaz guide you through this week, shining light on the opportunities that you might be too hesitant to see. So in the next seven days, commit to one small action every day that aligns with your larger life goals. Whether it's sending that email you've been putting off, joining a community group, or even taking a short trip somewhere to break up your routine. These small steps can add up to a much larger journey towards your own enlightenment. Remember, this week is a microcosm of potential growth and transformation. Trust yourself, tap into your creative energies, and let the light of Dagaz illuminate your path. Whatever you're doing, realize that you are enough, that you are amazing, that you are a masterpiece and a piece of the master. Have a wonderful week, whatever you're doing. Be love and give love. God bless. Bye-bye.